all diabetics across the country and the world if you have diabetes whether it's type 1 or type 2 for more than 8 to 10 years with high blood pressure with family history of kidney problems then you need to be watchful of diabetic nephropathy one of the most frightening deadly complication of diabetes you must have heard about dialysis and dialysis is something needed when end-stage renal disease has been reached. It's a kind of renal failure and diabetic nephropathy is one of the main reasons for kidney failure across the country and the world. But you don't have to be scared because once you know the basics of why it happens, how it happens, how to take care, you can manage it really well. We have at FFD published a research paper of 306 diabetics who have reversed their kidney disease and achieved great reversal, great improvement in their health, their energy and transformation. So don't worry, let's get on understanding it with the symptoms. Symptoms wise in diabetes nephropathy like diabetes there is no warning sign quickly earliest one which has been found is foam in urine so if you are getting foam in urine it could be an indication that some protein is getting leaked out and as the disease advances you might get problems in terms of fatigue which is tiredness disorientation shortness of breath puffiness around the eyes swellings on your legs, itchiness, dry skin and many other conditions. But don't wait for the symptoms, get your tests done regarding urine microalbumin and kidney function test as soon as you cross 5 years of diabetes, it's important. So what is diabetic nephropathy exactly at the cellular level, micro level? We all know we've got two kidneys and kidneys have millions of nephrons which are tube-like structures and what they do is they help to absorb waste from the blood. Now because of high blood sugar, high blood pressure, smoking, obesity, family history of diabetes there is scarring or there is problems in these nephrons and they are not able to remove the waste properly so slowly a protein called albumin starts leaking out into the urine and you can detect it by checking your urine microalbumin test which is one of the most important tests and you need to keep your urine microalbumin less than 20 and other major test is serum creat which is taken from the blood which has to be less than 1 for males and 0.8 for females. So how does it progress and what are the possible complications? So what happens is as the urine microalbumin, albumin leakage increases, there are imbalances in the blood, electrolytes also, potassium starts rising which is very very common in diabetic nephropathy. This along with urine leakage and other problems can create issues with the heart functioning even stroke there can be congestion of water inside the lungs which is called pulmonary edema all of this can also suppress the bone marrow so you become anemic you become weaker more fatigue happens inside the system and because of calcium phosphorus problems bone issues can also happen so in a way when kidney stops functioning properly you cannot live a good life erectile dysfunction tiredness all kinds of things set in and life really becomes miserable especially if the skin starts itching because of the waste deposits under the skin so what is the way out what is the treatment First and foremost is checking your urine microalbumin, your creatinine levels regularly, monthly. Monthly is very important so that you can keep a track of whether it's improving or 
deteriorating then you need to bring the sugars under control they need to be below 140 for at least 18 to 21 hours after 24 hours hb1c should be below 7 blood pressure compulsory below 130 80 for maximum time during the day and you need to be on a very special personalized diet based on your creatinine problems your potassium problems your urine problems exercise also has to be monitored carefully that you don't over exercise and break down your muscles one big no no is to not take pain killers because pain killers non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs can actually damage the kidneys and there are many cases we have seen who are not aware of this problem and have come with damaged kidneys so good sugars good blood pressure a good diet relevant exercise all customized for you stopping of smoking and managing the show properly for not only nephropathy but diabetes reversal can actually help you to reverse diabetic nephropathy in every batch we see 15% plus minus few people getting into this condition and out of them minimum 40% normalize others also benefit to know more follow the links we've got tens of thousands of people who are free of diabetes and also become rid of their kidney problems so see you